to I Just Love That Fabric. I'm Susie and today in our store I'm going to show you how to make a lampshade. We need a few items in which to do this and our kit involves some of them. So we need a set of lampshade rings, some trim, a pencil, some glue, double-sided sticky tape, scissors and a ruler and of course some beautiful fabric. First of all we're going to stick our lampshade paper onto our fabric. In our kit, the lampshade paper will be wider than you need and you can just choose your depth. So we're going to stick the double-sided sticky tape, sorry, paper, like so. Just ensuring you have enough fabric top and bottom in order to be able to trim. Smooth down your double your lampshade paper. Turn it over and just check you don't have any bubbles. Just give it a run through. The next part of the process, we're just going to trim this end. Up close to the lampshade paper. And at the far end, we're just going to roll approximately a centimetre. And we're just going to trim this through there like that. We're going to use some double sided sticky tape now to stick down onto the lampshade paper to secure the overlap. This just peels off. And we just want to fold and stick. Just so we have a nice edge. Also on this edge, we're going to place another row of sticky tape. And we won't peel that off just yet. I'll show you what we do with that later. And on this side here, on the good side, we're just gonna place another piece of double-sided sticky tape. I'll just show you why we've done that. So when we've got the fabric on the lampshade, it's going to overlap like that so that we've got places for it to stick on either side. Once that's done, we're just going to rule about a centimetre to 12 millimetre line here to turn over onto the rings. And go all the way up to the end here on both sides just right up to that edge there and at this point I usually have two pieces of fabric or two pieces of sticky paper which we'll just put on here, just here and here. This is for the final turnover and stick once the fabric is on the rings. So once that's all done, we're going to cut around this here. like so. So we just peel those pieces off now. You'll see that this will all fall into place once we've got the fabric onto the lampshade. Now we move to covering the rings in double-sided tape. This is a quick and easy process. We use this ring first. Just 
place your tape on and squeeze it as you go around. And then just cut that end. Once that's on, that will just lift up and you can peel the top layer off. We do this one first, it's easy to place down onto the table. Our second ring will do exactly the same. All the way around. And just slip that there. Same with this, it's all stuck down nicely. And this will just peel off. Now we're ready to roll our rings onto our, lamp onto our lampshade paper and fabric. Just one other thing, if you're using a directional fabric, so for example, I've got palm trees and I want to stand this on a base, I'll be putting my main fittings at the bottom of the lampshade. So we will start first of all, we'll just place our rings onto the lampshade paper. Not on the fabric, but on the lampshade paper itself. And we'll just slowly roll those together. Just making sure that you stick to your rings stick to the paper. So gently roll them down each side of the lampshade paper. And you'll feel that they'll just happily just roll by themselves. So once you get to this point here, we'll just pop up the shade back. Right. You can now unstick the two pieces of tape that we placed on earlier. Like so, and just continue rolling till they join. And then we'll just give those a little smooth in there and that's your fabric onto your shade. Like so. Now we just get to the final part of trimming the inside. Because most of our fabrics that we use are furnishing fabrics, so they tend to fray, we, we trim off on the inside with some jute or some pretty ribbon. So we're just going to work our way around the lampshade, just folding the fabric nice and neatly over and just running our fingers around, just making sure it's a nice clean edge. Once we get to this piece here, this is where we left the extra fabric because that has to go over two layers of fabric. We're just going to place some glue. Just in, in between here. Let me just stick that down. We'll just hold that for a few moments just to let it adhere nicely. When you're happy that that's stuck, we're just going to trim that just so we don't have a long overlap. And just hold it down for a few moments. Just check all your fabric is stuck down nicely. Then we're going to flip the lampshade over and we're going to do exactly the same on the other side. Only when we get to the small bars, we're just going to snip. Here we 
we will maybe, we might slip just in there like so, just to fold these over. And we'll just work our way around. And we'll just snip in there like so. It's good to have a sharp pair of scissors for this job. There we go. When we get round to this end as well here, we do exactly the same as we did on the first side. We'll just flip it on its side and we'll place some glue just where the fabric overlaps. We'll just snip that there. And we'll just stick that there. And when you think that's stuck nicely, we'll just trim that slightly. Now we're ready to put, pop our trim on the inside. As you can see, we do get a few frayed pieces with these fabrics. So we'll just trim those off. I'm choosing some jute trim today, which is quite a nice natural finish and looks lovely with the palm trees. So just to measure to get the right amount, you just want to pop it around the lampshade with a slight overlap and just do that twice to place top and bottom. So when you're ready to place your trim in, I usually start opposite the seam that I've just had, so there's no seam there. And we're just gonna place some glue. Just along the seam, what this will do, this will cover up the seam of the fabric with the lampshade paper and we'll just give it a nice finish. So everything you need to make a lampshade is included in our kit. You can have with or without fabric if you have your own fabric. Full instructions and of course this video. So we just go all the way around like that. And then we get our tape and we'll just sit that down gently and we'll work our way around and we'll go on the inside of the spokes like this and that just sits in there nicely like this the way to you join up with where you started so just make sure that finishes nicely on that edge and just trim pop that down and then just go back around any pieces sticking out just trim those off make sure it's nice and secure So, and we'll repeat on the other side and once that's done your lampshade is ready to use thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it one complete lampshade <laughs>